Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, we're going to be covering MS-DOS. Now, in the past, it's been a bit difficult for some people to set up MS-DOS correctly with a LaunchBox and BigBox. We've always had the MS-DOS importer, so if we head up to Tools, Import, MS-DOS Games, we can use the built-in importer, but some people get a little confused with this. So I'm going to make it even easier for you. And today I'm going to show you how to use RetroArch and the DOSBox Pure Core to get these games up and running. The DOSBox Pure Core makes it really easy for most people to get their games because it allows you to import and play zipped MS-DOS games. And basically all you're going to need is RetroArch, the DOSBox Pure Core, and some zipped MS-DOS games. I've got some located on my desktop. I'm going to leave all of mine zipped. I've just went through and chose a few to import and make it a little quicker for this process. So first things first, we'll need RetroArch installed, and with the latest versions of LaunchBox and BigBox, we made it even easier to get RetroArch up and running. If you've already done a few system imports, chances are you do have RetroArch installed. You can automatically install it during an import, but if not, we can always head up to Tools, Manage, RetroArch, and mine's already installed, but I can reinstall update, and like I mentioned, if it's not installed, you can install it. I'm just going to go ahead and update it because I haven't done it in a couple weeks. Choose update, and with this, it's automatically going to download the update for us. It's going to download all of the correct cores, place them in the correct location, and get it set up for us. I mean, it's basically a one-click setup with RetroArch and LaunchBox now. And there we have it and it's automatically downloaded that DOSBox Pure Core. But if for some reason you manually installed RetroArch and you want to keep it that way, that's totally fine. I'm going to head over to where I have RetroArch installed. We'll need to download the core manually, so we'll go to my RetroArch folder. I'm going to start it up one time. And from here, Online Updater, Core Downloader, and we're going to find DOSBox Pure. Mine's already installed, but we'll go ahead and do it again. Core is installed we're ready to go with the DOSBox Pure Core. Now it's time to import our games. We can always drag and drop, or we can head up to Tools, Import, and since we're using the DOSBox Pure Core with RetroArch, we're going to use the ROM importer and not the MS-DOS importer. We'll go to our ROM file. Go ahead and read through everything in the Import Wizard. We'll choose Next. I'm going to add the folder I have on my desktop, and since it's named correctly, MS-DOS, this is the naming convention inside a LaunchBox, it's automatically going to detect that I want to import my MS-DOS games. If it's not named correctly, you can always use the drop-down. Now we need to choose an emulator. We're going with RetroArch. Now we need to choose the correct core. We're going to go with DOSBox Pure. Next, I'm going to copy the files in my LaunchBox Games folder because they're on my desktop and I want everything consolidated. Of course, we want to download some images, so we'll do it from the game's database. And if you have an EMU Movies account, you can also select everything here. We don't need to specify any extra custom options, so we'll choose Next. And here's the game, the game location. Finish. LaunchBox is going to go ahead and import those games and download everything we need. I only had nine games, so it did import them pretty quickly. Still downloading a little bit of artwork in the background, but we now have a new section over here, MS-DOS. And as you can see, I've got my nine games that I've imported. The emulator set up, we've got our games imported, we can go ahead and start a game. Now with some of these games, they're automatically going to start up, so if I choose Monkey Island, DOSBox Pure is automatically going to start this game up for me. We're good to go, we can start playing this game. Let me exit this because I'll show you another game that doesn't automatically start up, but it's really easy with DOSBox Pure. Let's go with the Oregon Trail. And you'll notice this one looks a bit different. So what we need to do is choose the EXE, and the great part about this is once we choose this the very first time, next time we start this same game up, it's automatically going to know that we want it started from this EXE so we no longer have to see this screen anymore. But as soon as I choose this, it'll load it up for me, and we can start playing. So there we have it. Really easy to get DOSBox set up with DOSBox Pure and RetroArch in LaunchBox. If you just want an easy way to get into this, I would highly recommend using RetroArch and DOSBox Pure. But we always have the importer up here, which does take a little more setup and configuration, but it does work out quite well. 
But that's going to wrap it up for this one. We really appreciate you watching and hope you get your favorite DOSBox games up and running with DOSBox Pure and RetroArch. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.